Hey guys, it's Heather from HStudio Creations and today I'm going to show you how to turn a PNG file into a multi-layered SVG file using Adobe Illustrator. So first things first is we are going to drag our PNG file into our Adobe Canvas here. And I'm just scaling it down just so it's a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm going to click Embed and then Image Trace. This file here doesn't have a lot of color, so six colors should be just fine. Click OK. And now I'm going to move it off the screen here so you can see that this has created a white background around my image. That is totally fine. I'm just going to double click and delete it out because we do not need that for an SVG file. And then for each color, we're going to click it. So I'll start with the red here and then at the very top, select same fill color. And then it's either Command-8 on your keyboard if you have a Mac or Control-8 on your keyboard if you have a PC. And we're going to do that for every single color. So click the color, select same fill color, and then either Command-8 or Control-8. And I'm just zooming in just to get that black line there. But again, every single color, select same fill color, command eight or control eight. And you can move them out like I'm doing here just to make sure that you have every color done. Um, so you wanna make sure every single color you've done this with before we export it. And so all it does is it groups them all together so that way it cuts seamlessly on our cut file if you're using Cricut or Silhouette or whatnot. Now we're going to go file, export it, and we are going to export it as an SVG file. That's important to note because we import it as a PNG, so we want to make sure we export it as, and then export as an SVG. So from the drop down menu here, change that. And I'm going to show you how I upload it into Design Space here for Cricut. I've done another video on how to upload an image. I will link that below if you need to watch it. But this is just going to show you that the file we've uploaded is going to have um, multi layers and um, every color is going to be its own cut layer. So just drag it in here and you'll see the transparent background. That's perfect. Exactly what we want. And then we're just going to add to canvas. And now you see all the different colors are its own layer. So that's perfect. We've done it absolutely perfectly. And now we have a cut file to use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos to come. And thank you so much and happy crafting.